It's exciting. There's lots of stuff that's going on and there's lots of interesting people that are coming from all around the country and are uh, sharing their experiences, um, what works, what doesn't work, and it provides a great opportunity to be able to get some new ideas to bring back to your own institution. How do we teach our students the best? Students are different today, and we're learning more through the science of learning, neuroscience, how people learn. So we need to start taking what neuroscience plus the technology and how to blend them together to address what students want today. More collaborative, team-based learning, more interactive learning. Now instead of doing this interactive work on your own, the faculty member as an expert is in the classroom with the students, helping them solve problems, helping them incorporate what they learn and, and make it a lot deeper in terms of uh, the experience for them. I see a potential for developing a very successful model, uh, allowing for the non-traditional students to enter in to the curriculum and have a chance to get exposure like never before. So I'm excited about MOOCs because it allows individuals to, um, to, to investigate areas of their own interest um, in a very individualized way. Technology, in my opinion, when it comes to, to learning and the science of learning is, is really there as another tool. You know, we have this toolbox and we pull things out of every once in a while whenever we want to teach a class or, or manage a learning experience and technology has just added a lot more depth into that toolbox. Technology is vital to this aspect of interprofessional education, but it starts through technology and distance learning and, and all different types of media sources so people understand what dentistry is all about. You can create a provider that has a broader breadth of knowledge and looks at the patient in a much more holistic manner and, and not just uh, with their, their, in their own discipline. So if we can funnel a faculty member's passion into what they're teaching, the students will naturally be engaged. They'll want to be there to be engaged. The key to engaging the faculty is having the support and development courses, which IDEA is just wonderful at. Um, they're providing many of the resources that we need to learn or to bring back to our colleges to help develop our faculty. I think IDEA is doing a great job representing students and having us voice our opinions and our concerns and they do a very even better job accommodating our concerns into our meeting agendas and our speakers that we'd like to hear. Our meetings are always very beneficial, great networking opportunities, great opportunities to meet new colleagues, great opportunities to see what other colleagues are doing at their various institutions. I guess the ultimate goal is improving patient care. That's what we want. So we have to show our students how to work as a team to get the best for their patients.